somber mood hung over the Chiwatule home of long-serving prosecutor Joan Kagezi, who lost her life to gunshots on Monday evening, right in front of her children. Hundreds continued to flock the home to pay their last respects to the prosecutor as police maintained a heavy presence around the area. Security Minister Mary Karoro Okorut visited the family this morning to condole with them and made an extended call for cooperation between the security agents and the public. We know that there are many bad-intentioned people, criminals with guns, and police has been doing a good job because they have been recovering some of these guns. But our general appeal again is to the public. If you know anybody who has hidden a gun, maybe in the banana plantation, please give that information because that gun could be turned against you or your family. With investigations yet to make a major headway, Karoro says arrangements are being made to create a communication channel between the public and security agencies. And we are planning to install a toll-free line where information can call so that as soon as this information is got, information about criminals and so on, as soon as this information is got, there is, an, uh, there is a team which analyzes it quickly and if they find that there is any truth in that information, they take action. The minister says the public needs to eliminate the fear and panic that has gripped the neighborhood since Kagezi's demise, but ensure that they are security conscious. We all condemn it. You can imagine how these children have been traumatized. Their mother shot and killed when they are looking. So we need to join hands with them. And I pledge the support of government to the family. There was a funeral service at the home of the deceased this evening and the fallen prosecutor is expected to be laid to rest on Thursday afternoon. Sabit Joseph, Division.